guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am here with my husband Kevin. Uh, you guys know Kevin, and we are finally, finally putting up my bookshelves. I'm sorry, our bookshelves. Our I, bookshelves. I think I get a shelf now. You get a shelf now. So we have these two shelves from when, like our last house, and we got those from Ikea, and we went back to Ikea maybe like a week and a half ago or so and we actually got two more of the same shelves which they're on the floor right there so we have to put up those shelves and then also I got a filming chair which is right there I don't know if you can see it. it's probably not in the shot I'm really excited to set that one up and then we'll see how long this video is I may put up my books I haven't decided yet but might be a long, long night. Which is why I made myself some tea. It's chocolate peppermint. Smells like bubble gum. Kinda does, actually. <laughs> oh, it's because there's licorice. Which, I don't like licorice, but there's like licorice in here. It's the licorice you smell. Think of licorice. Why does licorice smell like bubble gum? I don't know. But this is my Powell's Late Night Bookshop coffee mug that I got when I was visiting Hannah in Oregon two years ago, I think is when we got it. So I thought it was very fitting for this video. So yeah, that is what we're going to do. So you're about to watch a very long time lapse of us putting up our bookshelves and uh, my chair as well. So... Yay! All right guys, I'm just gonna show you really quick what we are working with. So if you remember in my last vlog, I asked if I should film downstairs or if I should film upstairs in this like reading nook and um, a lot of people said upstairs and I agree, I think it's really nice upstairs. There's a lot of lighting. I actually don't have my lights up. My lights are like right here and they're not even on. There's just so much lighting up here that it's fantastic for filming. So here I have my uh, chair that I need to set together and then the two Ikea shelves. They're going to look exactly like this. So I'm very, very excited. I'm wondering if we're going to put two on this wall and then two on this wall and then it just be like a filming nook here. I haven't decided how I want to do it yet, but I don't really want to obscure the windows and then there's like a kind of like edge right there so I don't really know if I want to put one shelf here it might look funny maybe I'll put like a little decoration here I don't know I haven't decided yet but I have all of my books Kevin still needs to get his books to get all the tools I don't know <laughs> you look so distraught <laughs> I don't know where anything is I like your PJs I'm wearing PJs as well because it is Friday night and what else are we going to wear on a Friday night at 8 o'clock when we're building bookshelves? Obviously our PJ pants and we're both wearing Harry Potter shirts. Show your Harry Potter shirt. Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Yay. I'm wearing one as well. Carefully going to touch stuff like that. Very, very gently. Is this one sharp? No. Oh. Jones scratch. Oh yeah. Jones. I don't remember. Also, in case you guys were wondering what shelves I have, it is the Brusali shelves from IKEA. So I really like them and I feel like they're very sturdy and they've held up really well. And I don't know, they look nice. I think they look really nice in my opinion. They're just, um, they're kind of a bitch to build, to be honest. There's a, a lot of pieces <laughs> and these are heavy, like it comes in two separate boxes, so they're really heavy. In case you guys want a uh, cute little puppy moment. Hey Zara, you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Sit. Sit, wait. Not yours. <gasps> Do you want it? Take it. Good girl. Good girl. Just had to show off how well behaved she is sometimes. 
It's all a lie, folks. She's a terror. <laughs> She's a terror. Do you want another one? Sit. Okay, Zara, sit. Good girl. What is it that you want? Can you watch me? Watch me. Good girl. Now lay down. Good girl. Oh, why won't it focus? Camera's being dumb. Good girl. Good girl. Do you know how to read instructions? No. Uh oh. Uh oh. And what are you doing in this video? <laughs> Very funny. Well, the good thing is, generally, IKEA makes their whole sizes different, so that you can, it's kind of hard to put it in the wrong spot. It's hard to put it in the wrong hole. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. It's not very proper. It's not very proper. Getting nervous, someone was beating me. <laughs> He's slow. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is one completely finished. And I think that took us like maybe 30 plus minutes. I've got like 30 plus minutes of footage, which isn't bad for building the shelf, but for footage, that's a lot of footage. So what I think I might do is we are going to build the next shelf off camera, and then I will show you the chair, and then we will go from there. But yeah, so far, hey, hun, where do you think we should put, I was thinking, two here and then two along this wall so it'll kind of make like a little uh -huh. like a, like a corner a yeah. little bit of shelves what do you think and then like sure. my chair like right here in the middle sure you think that'll look good that kind of goes somewhere yeah i know can we move that anywhere else no right because that's where the plug is well can we can put it behind the bookshelf and then that underneath it right or maybe on the bottom of one of them yeah on the bottom shelf of one would be, would be yeah fine. we could even like no we won't do that. yeah we'll figure it out but yep so that is one completely done i honestly guys really like this bookshelf a lot they're a little more expensive than the billy bookshelves that a lot of people get but i just i don't know i think they look really nice i love this and then they also transport really well um you can see they've got a little bit of like a few little scratch but not too bad like with moving you know two and a half hour drive to here and then putting them in a storage unit taking them out of a storage unit honestly i think they've held up pretty well and these shelves right here i mean they're really sturdy i can make them really nice and heavy and i don't have to worry about my shelves falling and also i feel like they're really sturdy on their feet like they wiggle a little bit but it's pretty sturdy i never really had to worry about it tipping over but it does come with hooks that you can put on the wall I think right now we'll just leave it but once we have kids we'll definitely mount them to the wall for sure but looks like Kevin's already started on the next one all right then so we will get this one built really fast now now that we know how to do it I think it'll go quicker okay and then we will be back all right guys this is what we have so far I love it I think this looks amazing in this little corner right here so now we got to do the chair and then 
Kevin's going to go play some video games. So I think that looks so good. So unfortunately, I can't get them. There's going to be a gap in between each of them because the way it is at the top, they don't – you can't, like, bump them up against each other. There's, like, this lip that keeps it from being able to be flush, which is fine. It's fine. I don't think it looks – bad like completely spaced out and once i have all of my books on there i don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference i think it'll look fine so yeah so let's unbox this chair i'm really excited i mean it's nothing fancy it's just like a cute little like a off-white kind of like a gray white fuzzy chair just to sit in and film because i realized like i never had an actual filming chair i either used like folding chairs that we had with like our card table or like my computer chair or I used our um, bench that goes to our dining table. So yeah, I'm excited to actually have a chair to film in. So let's unbox this. Well, this is kind of the final setup. I really like it. I just need to fix this little gap right here. I don't know why, but for some reason my chair is coming across a little yellow on camera, but it's definitely like a, a soft gray, but I really like it. I'm very excited. Chairs are really hard to find, especially one like I wanted something comfortable, but I also didn't want something like huge but I also didn't want like a dining chair so I'm really excited with this one it's got like a nice back support so I can lean back I'm so excited to get back to filming and being in our new home now now the project of doing this is next so yeah and then of course like cleaning up the entire mess we made but I think I might leave that for another night because it is getting kind of late already and yeah I'm tired <laughs> maybe do my books tomorrow that might be a really nice project to do tomorrow actually tomorrow's Saturday so it'll be a really nice um, thing to do wake up nice and early get some coffee and then put my bookshelves up I think that'll be really exciting and I think it's gonna look really really good once I get all of my books on now the fun part is to decide like which book is gonna go on which shelf because of the filming yeah I don't know yet so we shall see let me know what you guys think of this setup I really like this I think it's a lot of fun and I'm actually really happy that I think ooh, I think it's a good choice to book the bookshelves up here um, it definitely is less echoey. There is a lot more lights. Like we have, I have four lights, three lights, plus I have three windows and four windows and just <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of natural lights. Like I don't even have my filming lights, tri uh, my like tripod lights up right now and I feel like it is illuminating very well. I just realized I have my pillow that I should put right here books i need more books my mother-in-law bought me this and i i love it i think it's so much fun so yeah oh this is oh my gosh this is perfect i'm so excited this is fantastic so yes i really hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for actually putting my books on my bookshelves and then also I think I am going to be doing a bookshelf tour as well I know those are really popular people tend to really like them and I think it'll be a lot of fun to do a final bookshelf tour and I think in my bookshelf tour it'll be a good time for me to like go through all of my books and then decide what I want to unhaul I did a whole bunch of unhauling before we moved here but I might want to get rid of more books I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Now that we have two new bookshelves, I don't really know if I necessarily need to get rid of more books because we've got plenty of space, but I have to remind myself that Kevin has some books as well. His books are probably honestly gonna take up 
I'd say at least maybe half of a bookshelf. Um, he's got the entire like Robert Jordan time, um, Wheel of Time series and then he's got just like a lot of other like dragon books and stuff. So yeah, we should definitely get those on our shelves and I'm really excited. So yeah, anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye!